Alright, so next up I'm going to teach you guys how to import DDS files from online if that's how the patcher released uh, their textures and also how to find the names of the textures you're looking for and how to again export them as you need to. So TNX enhanced sideline series, you know, he's got a bunch of enhanced textures and they look great. He, they came out right when the game came out. Um, I still use them today. He, I mean, he's he's done a, he did a great job with it. So en enhanced sideline characters 2.0. I mean, he did a great job as you can see with the cheerleaders. Good job, man. Okay. But you know, let's say I already edited my game data extra file, which is what um, he edited. So that's why he released this version, where it's enha enhanced sideline characters, DD but it's DDS textures. It's not the actual IF file, so it's, you have to import it yourself. And you'll see this with other people, you know, releasing accessories and stuff for the global file. So what I did was I downloaded his enhanced uh, DDS files. I'm going to go ahead and load up the mod tool, which I should have already done. I didn't. I wasn't prepared. All right, so I'm going to load up the game data extra if file. And uh, the game data files are, uh, they, they just contain a bunch of just the generic stuff for throughout the entire gameplay. So let's see here. He's he was nice enough to label all these. Sometimes people don't label what texture. Uh, hopefully they do. But I mean, right here, number f or texture number five. So right here, you know, zero. It starts at zero. All of them start at zero. You can see suits and stuff. That is really racist. Okay. And uh, this is I'm guessing one of the ball boys. Um, so we're gonna import res right here. We're gonna navigate. To the database or to all the downloaded textures you got. Gonna hit five right here. Open. Says that it imported okay. And oh hey, it changed a little bit. But um and you just kind of go through all the DDS files you downloaded and import them as needed. I thought I already had this installed. Evidently I was wrong. But uh that's okay. I'm sure he'll uh, forgive me for not having his stuff installed. Um, so that's basically that. Uh, 210. Oh, okay. Well, hey, good stuff. I'll, I'll have to go through and uh, reinstall all of these because I really thought that I had them all in. So the other file that you'll see that has a lot of um, DDS files released for it is the global file. Now the global file has just Again, it's global. It's got everything from menu stuff to in it, to the sweat and the lighting for in the game. And, I mean, look at this. You're going to see all of the textures and models and everything that's in there. There's 900, or 930, because you have to count zero. And some of them are nothing. Some of them are animations that aren't supported by the tool. Some of them, and, you know, there's a tech fit, tech fit sleeve right there. Now, the problem is, that how do you know what's where? I mean, it's difficult. I did a tutorial on this, um, but you know I'm not going to cover that right now. You basically you want this thread right here, which is in the 2K12 section in the 2K12 tutorials. List of texture names for the global game data, logos, portraits. I, I got all I, I got these if files done, and it's just really useful to find out what texture will edit what. So again, you know you got 930 things here. It's not that easy to navigate. Uh, what I do is just Control F. And let's say I want to try to find a knee texture. And right there, number number 10 is a knee hex pad. It's the normal map for it. It's got the little N next to it. So 10 right here, hey, that's the hex pad for knees. If I go down, 94 is knee pad. 94 is right there, and that's the knee pad. And now some of the colors will be red, green, or blue, and that's so they can be recolored by the game properly for the team colors and whatnot. Um, so again, if I want to extract that. You can see it's DD, DXT1 compression 128 by 128. Just hit export res. Save it where you want to save it and name it. I usually name them by the number so I don't forget where to import them after I'm done editing. And then you can edit it and then import it back in when you're done when you're done editing it. Um, not much else to it. Pretty basic stuff. Um, I, mean, I spent some time getting these lists together for you. 
I hope they are as useful as everyone makes it seem to be. And, uh, no, thank you. And, yeah, I will see you guys next time for, uh, let's see here. It looks like I'm going to be doing models, and uh, that will be the next tutorial. So I'll see you there.